What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. Today we're checking out the Carre Petrichol, one of Barcelona's best streets filled with all sorts of different art, very famous people that have been on it and some of the best hot chocolate around. Legend has it that while under Muslim control, the Christians in Barcelona wanted a shortcut to the only church open to them. When given the option to pay the length of the street in gold, they could only get so far, and Carre Petrichol was not a through street until 1469. Later, it would become the first pedestrian street in the city, and this tiny street, located along Las Ramblas between Santa Maria del Pi and Puerta Ferrisa, is now one of Barcelona's most emblematic. Petrichol's story is literally on display throughout with panels showing the traditions, daily life of famous residents and passerbys who have added to its charm. One of the first panels we're going to see as we're walking down the street is called Lauca de Señor Esteve, which was a play, very famous play, written by Santiago Rusiñol. An auca is literally translated to goose, but it's more like a Catalan comic book. And you can see the 27 different scenes of the play that are all drawn here by Ramon Casas. But Petrichol is probably better known for all the chocolate shops that started popping up in the 17th century, giving it the nickname the Chocolate Street. The oldest chocolate shop left today is right here, La Dulcinea, which was opened in 1941. You can see all the different types of pastries it has, and it's a place where you should definitely visit if you're looking for that hot chocolate, churros, or even a coffee. One of the other most emblematic shops on the street is the Queda Bookstore, which despite reading founded in 1900, wasn't on the street until 1916. It's always specialized in travel, excursion, and mountain climbing books, but a couple years back, it decided to change things up a little bit and opened up a restaurant, which is definitely worth the look. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to make some reservations. Now as we continue down, we can see some more of the plaques that are dedicated to people that have either lived on the street or been here. And you can see the second plaque there talks about Angel Guimera and it says you could see his shadow, which makes you think maybe he lived on the other side of the street. But first you have another plaque that says love and spread civility in the street, a little dedication to everybody. And if you look to the right, effectively we can see Angel Guimera, famous playwright and poet who unfortunately passed away in this house. And on the exact opposite side, there's a little bit more of a playful plaque that says Moratin, another playwright, lived here, but they don't know which house or which floor it was. And just next door, painted on the door, we have reference to the famous modernist restaurant in the city, Aos Quadragats, and its first menu that was painted by Pablo Picasso himself. Speaking of Picasso, we have the Sala Pares just up to the left, which was opened in 1877 and the first place where Picasso was able to exhibit his artwork in the city. Art on the street is also a big theme, apart from just the chocolate. You can see some other galleries, as well as the Sala Pares around. Tucked just around the corner, you can find a statue of La Merced de Petrichol put up in 1950 by the Neighbors Association as a way to try to revitalize the celebrations of La Merced, one of the patron saints of the entire city. And as we pass by the Sala Pares, which opens a little later in the afternoon, we can see yet another plaque dedicated to Santiago Rusiñol, which talks about the fact that he was on the street. But the literal translation would be that his beard had a fantastic flight through here.
And as we continue on down the street, you can see a lot of the shops that give Petricol its character and make it one of the streets that you want to see. Even some of the other chocolate shops like Petricol that we can see right here. But that name Petricol is very different from a lot of the other names around in the Gothic Quarter. And the question of where this name comes from has baffled historians for a long time. Many think that it could have been the name of a family that had a lot of different houses on the street, adopting that name to match the entire street. Another option could be Porticol, or Portal, which was, if you remember back to the legend, was what was created when the gold ran out and there wasn't enough money to make an entire street. They were allowed to have a little portal to get down onto the street and to the church. And the last is Pedrichol, or kind of like a rock, something that was used back in the days to block the streets and not allow carriages to get through. Another famous ex-passerby is Montserrat Caballé, the famous Catalan soprano, who as you can see here worked at the Casa Comella in 1950 and that said she sang. She would later go on to make the 1992 Olympic Games song Barcelona with Freddie Mercury. And that brings us to our next famous chocolate shop, Granja La Payaresa, which was opened up in 1947. If you want to come and try the churros, you definitely should, but I'd also recommend trying out some ensaimadas that you can see in the window here. And in fact, there's a plaque next door that says that the people used to come here to have ensaimadas. Now the inside is really nice. It's kind of like that old school style bar. So definitely make your way over here. And if you're looking for hot chocolate, try out a suizo which is a special Swiss hot chocolate, which is topped with whipped cream. Now the name Granja in Spanish means farm, and you might see that on some other restaurants or bars within the city, and that's from back when they used to have the animals inside the restaurants. Now this next spot we're coming up to unfortunately was closed and I'd really like to have been able to take you inside but the Maxo Gallery has more than just art like some of the other galleries we've seen but it has these shadow boxes that you can find in some of the best places or some of the most popular places in Barcelona. So if you want to get a souvenir or a nice gift this is one that I definitely recommend. I have some at home and I have some that I've given to friends and families. You pick your favorite spot in Barcelona and you've got a really nice picture. Do you recognize the house from one of the panels that we saw earlier on the street? And if you didn't get the idea already, you have some more chocolate shops down at the end of the street. Vicens, what we just saw, is one that's all over the city, very famous for the different turrones that they offer. And if you don't know what those are, they've always got some free samples that you can try out when you go inside. And you can see some more panels and plaques. This one talking about the goats that used to come by and dirty up the street. Again, paying that homage to the things of the past. And as we get closer to Puerta Ferriza, we can see where the street opened up in the 15th century and you get a very good idea of the Carre Petrichol as a whole. In a city like Barcelona that seems like every street has its own story, I don't think there's any more visible or more proud of theirs as Petrichol. I hope you enjoyed the walk and learned a thing or two. If you did, then make sure you hit that thumbs up and comment below with other streets that you'd like to explore with me. Don't forget to subscribe to continue exploring Barcelona together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.